Hey friend, do you want to be financially successful in your life? Well, on this video, I want to share with you what I titled How to Be Financially Successful. Now, my name is Franklin from the Money Code Academy. If this is your first time of coming to this channel and you are interested in personal finance, financial freedom, entrepreneurship, if you're interested in any of these, I would like you to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that the next time I post a new video, you will be the first to receive it. Now, the reason I want to share this particular topic with you is because three weeks ago, someone asked the question and said that, how do you become financially successful? And so I felt there was a need for me to do a video on that so that um, those those other people who, who might have such questions, this particular video will be the answer to that particular question. Now, there are a whole lot of things that you need to do to be financially successful. But I decided that in this video, I am going to highlight some of the few points. So I want to encourage you to pay close attention because what I want to share with you is to go a very long way to help you. Now, the first thing you must do to be financially successful is that you must have a vision. You must have a vision for your life and for your finances. A lot of times I've seen people who say, oh, I want to be successful. I want to, I want to, I want to make it big in my financial life. But guess what? They don't have a vision. I mean, when you ask them, okay, what are your plans for your finances? They, they cannot tell you anything concrete. In most cases, they say, I just want to get a good job, a good job that will pay me well, and I just want to be comfortable. Come on, that is not a vision. You should be able to have a vision, have a five-year plan from now. Where do you want to be in the next five years? You start with that. Where do you want to be in your finances in the next five years? And then while you are doing that, it is of great importance that you should also uh, uh, look at where you are now. Maybe you are listening to me right now and you don't have a job. You're going to start from there. You're going to tell yourself, between now and the next five years, this is what I want to achieve in my finances. If you already have a job, or maybe you are not, you are not being paid well, or maybe you are, you are, you are earning a good, a good salary, but somehow you just want something better, then start from there. Start from there, and begin to plan ahead. Get a notebook, chalk out a plan that you would like to accomplish for your finances within the next five years. I mean, a man without a vision is a man without a destination. You've got to understand this. So I want to encourage you to take this very seriously. You must have a vision for your life. You must have a vision for your finances. Now, the next thing that you must do to be financially successful is that you must lay a foundation upon which you can pursue your vision. Now that you have a vision, the next thing you must do is to lay a foundation. You know, lay a foundation upon which that vision can be accomplished. What do I mean by laying a foundation? You've got to determine the path you want to follow. Like I've always said in my, in my previous videos, there are more than 101 ways in which you can make money. You've got to choose a path. This becomes something like a career for you. You want to go in the part of business? What kind of business do you want to do? You get the point now. So you've got to, you've got to lay a foundation. Lay a foundation. Let's take, for example, you want to be, um, uh, you want to be a business person. You want to sell building materials or maybe you want to start an online business. Then you've got to start laying a foundation in that direction. You know, years ago, I, I was opportune to ask a young man. I said, where do you want to see yourself in the next five years? And he said that uh, uh, 
that he wants to be uh, an importer and also an exporter. And I said, what kind of goods do you want to import? What kind of goods do you want to export? And he said that he doesn't know yet that when that time comes, he would definitely know. And I said, you've got no plan. You are living in a world that will never manifest. And he was shocked. I said, yeah, that's the truth. You know, so after much talk, I, I, I was able to convince him and let him know that, look, if you want to go in the direction of uh, importing and exporting goods, then you should know the kind of goods you want to import and export. You should, you should do a research on those kind of goods. You should do a research on what it would take to export and, in, in, and import. You should also do a research on the nation you want to export your goods to. You know, it was after that discussion, his eyes became open. Then he realized that there was a whole lot that he was supposed to do. So I want to encourage you, lay a foundation upon which you can pursue your vision. Lay a foundation. Now, when I'm talking about laying a foundation, I'm not saying, I'm not talking about you going to get a job. As far as I'm concerned, and I'm sorry to say this, I know this might offend some people, but the truth of the matter is, uh, getting a job is not a solid foundation for your finances. I know this hurts, or this might hurt a little, but that's the truth. The reason is because you can easily lose your job. So getting a job itself is not, is not the foundation. You should, you should invest in yourself in such a way that you can easily get a job anytime you want to get a job. You know, so the foundation you should lay should be to invest in yourself so that anywhere you find yourself, you can easily be valuable. That's what it means to lay a good foundation for yourself. So you've got to lay a foundation. So, so before I continue, I want to ask you, what foundation have you laid for yourself? Think about it. What foundation have you laid for yourself in the past years? Now, if you haven't laid any solid foundation, I want to encourage you to do that. Begin today. Make up your mind that I'm going to lay a solid foundation. If you're going to invest in yourself, go ahead and do that. If you're going to invest in a product, go ahead and do so. You get the point now. So take this very seriously because it's so important. Have a career path. Know the path that you want to follow. Are you into fashion designing? Know the path that you want to follow. Within that particular uh, 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 niche. You get a point now. So if you are listening to me right now and you haven't laid any foundation, you don't have a career path, hear me, you are in for a big issue. There are lots of people out there who are just going about. They, they, they don't have any career path. They are just looking for anything that will just give them money. If you live your life like that, your results will be any kind of result because from the beginning you didn't have a plan so i want to encourage you in this direction make a conscious decision that you're going to lay a solid foundation for yourself now the the the, the third thing that you need to do to be financially successful is that you you've got to solve problems now this this is so important when it comes to finances, I want to quickly say this. There are principles. And if you stick to the principles of finances, you will always win. It's, it's very simple. Look around you. All the people who are doing well financially right now all around the world, these guys are solving a problem. Success in life is all about solving a problem. If you present yourself as someone who truly wants to solve the problems of others, money will come to you easily. You know why? Because money goes to a place where, where problems are being solved. 
And one of the one of the, 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 the rules of money, one of the laws of money, or rather the principles of money, is that you've got to solve a problem. So right now, right where you are listening to me, what part are you following? Are you among those who are solving the problems of people or are you are among those who are creating a problem for people? Think about it. The very moment you, you, you take that part where you are solving a problem for somebody, hear me, you will always win in your finances because it's a principle and it does not change. It does not change. Let us do a little, um, a little experiment. I want you to take a moment and think about the places where your money currently is going into. You will agree with me. They are all solving one or two problems for you. Let's start with your apartment. The reason you pay your rent is because the owner of that building is solving accommodation problem for you. The reason you pay your light bill is because the government is solving the problem of, light, uh, of, of the light for you, the light issue for you. Which means, if you need light, they are there to give you light. So because they are giving you light, you will always send your money to them in, in payment for the services they have rendered you, which is the light. Same with your water, same with your internet bill. All the expenses that you are currently doing, hear me, you are sending your money to people and institutions that are taking care of one or two needs in your life. And because you and many others keep sending your finances towards these people, towards these institutions, those institutions will never be broke. They will always have money because they are solving a problem. Now, if you want to be like them, solve a problem. But the moment you find yourself in that part where you are creating a problem for somebody, hear me, you can never be successful financially. It's a law. You may get money here and there, but hear me, in the long run, <laughs> in the long run, you're going to go broke. I mean, really broke. Such that you will not be able to come out of it. You know why? Because you, you haven't learned anything about solving problems. The only thing you've learned is how to create problems for people. So I want to encourage you, if you truly, truly want to be financially successful, then you should solve problems. Begin to date. Look around you. What problems can I solve? I remember reading uh, a book about two years ago. The young lad, it was, it was a very young guy who wrote this book. The young lad said that he was trying to uh, fix the money issue in his life and it got to a point where he realized he needed to solve a problem. And then he decided, whose problem do I need to solve? So he made up his mind that he was going to solve the problems of students. So what he did was that he began to make notebooks. Now let me ask you a question. Throughout the period you went to school, you used notebooks, right? Have you ever asked yourself, who was responsible for making those notebooks? He told himself he was going to, he was going to make notebooks and make some other, uh, some other materials that students were going to need. He did that and he began to supply to different schools and his finances changed. Why? Because he chose to solve the problems of students. Whose problem would you like to solve? 
What I'm doing right now, I'm li literally solving a problem for you. I'm letting you know the things you must do to succeed financially. That's a problem that I'm trying to solve for you now. So as long as you are able to find yourself in that part where you want to solve problems or where you are solving problems, hear me, money will always come to you. It will always come to you. Interestingly, when you hear about circulation of money around the world, that circulation they are talking about is problems, problems, problems. As long as there are problems in the world, money will keep circulating around those environments. Take a look at the recent uh, crisis that, 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 that came up. People began to donate money. Money began to come out from different people, from different institutions. Why? Because the problem needed to be solved. If you catch this thing I'm sharing with you, your life will not remain the same again. So before I continue, I want to ask you, whose problem are you solving? Or rather, whose problem would you like to solve? Think about this. Now, the next thing that you need to do to be financially successful is that you've got to increase your financial knowledge. I cannot stress this enough. See, if you truly, truly want to be financially successful, you must, you must be financially educated. Money is a concept. Money is like a weapon. And if you're going to learn how to use money, how to earn money, then you've got to learn the skills. There are skills to these things. If you don't have that skill, you don't have it. On the basis of that, I want to encourage you to take advantage of this. Increase your financial knowledge. Spend the time to study. Spend your money to receive knowledge, financial knowledge that will change your life. I cannot stress this enough. I know how many books I've read. I know how many books that I had to invest money on just because I wanted to learn. I know how many hours I had to sit down just to learn how to, how to, uh, uh, how to go about financial, financial issues. Let me tell you, wealth does not begin with the physical cash. Wealth begins with wisdom, knowledge. As long as you have the knowledge, you will always excel. So I want to encourage you in this regard, increase your financial knowledge. I actually did a course, I put together a, a course that I titled The Power of Financial Education. This is a course where I took out time to, to highlight the importance of financial education, what financial education will do for you and through you, what financial education will prevent you from. Do you realize that the reason there is a lot of, there's a lot of hardship, there's a lot of struggles is because of the lack of financial education? I mean, the, the more you know about money, the more freedom you will have in your life. So, make a conscious decision that you're going to learn about money. That course that I've put together, I'm going to link it below. I want you to register for the course. Don't just, don't just listen to this video and you're like, mm. no, register for the course. Go take, take our time. This is your number one test now. Do you truly want to be financially successful? Then take that test. If you are not able to go through this particular course, which is free, then it means you're not ready to be financially successful. If you truly want to be financially successful, start from there to go a long way to help you. And the next thing that I wrote down here is that you have to learn how to manage your finances. If you truly want to be financially successful, learn financial management. Now, this is very, very important because no matter how much money that comes to you, it, it does not count if you don't know how to manage your money. 
Financial management is so important because where there is no management, there can be no growth, no increase, no multiplication. If you cannot manage your finances, you cannot increase your finances, you cannot multiply your finances. And this is very important. The next thing that you need to do to be financially successful is that you've got to learn how to multiply your income. I've always said that no matter how much money that comes to you, if you cannot multiply it, then the purpose is defeated. Money was meant to be multiplied. You get the point now. So you've got to learn. Learn it. Begin today to learn it. How do I multiply my income? There are lots of ways, but you've, you've got to sit yourself down and learn. You get the point now. Very important, this thing I'm sharing with you. Now, the next thing that you've got to do is to be consistent in the path that you have chosen to follow. You know, there are people today who say, I want to do this today, and then the next day they say, I want to do something else. No, it, it, it doesn't work that way. If you truly want to be financially successful, be consistent. Consistency is one of the secrets of success, one of the principles of success. So if, for example, you're, you're into online business or you want to go in the path of online business, then stay with it. Be patient for it to work. Don't jump from this to another. No, stay with it. Be consistent and in due time, you will surely, surely get the, the desired results. I remember listening to the story of one of the uh, biggest guys here who is, a, who, who is into uh, real estate. He said he, he tried so many businesses, they all failed. They all failed. They didn't work. And then he just decided that, okay, let me use my, my last money and go into real estate. And that was how it worked. And today he's got properties all over the nation. Now, when his business was failing, he didn't say, ah, let me just go and get a job. I'm sick and tired of this. No, he continued in the path of business. If you will do the same, you will surely win in your finances. So I want to encourage you to take advantage of these few thoughts that I've put together. I believe that you will learn something from it. And if you have learned anything from it, I would like you to drop me a comment. Don't forget to like this particular video, share with your friends and families. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe so that the next time I post a new video, you'll be the first to receive it. And don't forget, to take advantage of my free course, The Power of Financial Education. If you truly want to be financially successful, my advice for you is that you start from there. Now, until I speak to you again, keep cracking the money code. God bless you.